Good afternoon. You know, 30 years ago today, I just come off the greatest 100 meters of my entire life setting world record. And a day after having my best ever qualifying mark over 28 feet. And I walked out on the runway, just really excited, confident, ready to go, ready to long jump in the world championships, trying to win my third championship in a row. 10 years, 65 meets in a row I hadn't lost. And I had one goal, to beat this man, Bob Beeman and never jump again. Well, we know things didn't go that way, <laughs> but I'll tell you something. It was an incredible performance that night because I started off great. I had this, this great first jump. It was over 28 feet for me. And then I had a foul and my third jump was a huge jump again. My personal best, almost 29 feet. Well, then it comes to the fourth round and I get out and get my jump the fourth round and I go over that mark, 29 feet, one two and three quarter inches, which was 891. So I set the record, but it was wind dated. And I said, ah, but I knew I can go back and get it. So I went back for my other jump. I started preparing myself. I got my mind together. And then guess what? I hear this great roar of the crowd as I'm watching because I'm trying to focus on my next jumps. And this roar came from Mike Powell. Mike Powell, <laughs> he goes out and he jumps 895 and it's legal. And I'll never forget this. He ran down that back stretch like he was running 100 meters. He might have beat me that day, matter of fact. But my thing wasn't about that moment. It was about what am I going to do? How do I respond? So I went back and I did respond with two of the three best jumps of my career. But it wasn't enough. So Mike Powell not only became the world champion, but he's also became the world record holder and stop my 10 year streak. Well, some people could say that was one big jump he had that night. Well, I'm the one that won't say that because I know it wasn't one jump. It was eight years of chasing, of competitions, of getting closer, of watching me just jump two or three times in a meet. It was eight years of saying, I can be the best in the world. I can break the world record and never wavering from that moment. It took eight years of just watching where he wanted to be. And when the biggest time of his life came, he pulled it off. So not only my hat's out to him, my utmost respect is out to him. And we've become good friends since then because we've had to be places and do things together. And we always joke about those nights and other nights of competition. But I tell you, if you really break it down, I look at that as one of the greatest nights of my career. Not because Mike Powell won, not because I lost, not because a streak was broken, because I think it's probably the greatest track and field performance ever, the greatest competition ever. And I was a part of it. Every athlete was a part of it. Larry Marks, all of us were a part of the greatest competition ever. So I want to tip my hats 30 years ago today to Mike Powell, congratulate him for holding the world record for 30 long years. Now, many people may say, wow, it's 30 years. I didn't think it would last that long. And I'm not even sure Mike would say, I want someone to ask you, Mike, would you say you think it would last this long? But guess what? I'm not surprised at all. It's a tremendous performance. It's much better than people imagine. The long jump to me is the hardest event in track and field, if you really put it down. And for him to go out and set that world record, only the fifth or sixth person to hold it in the last 100 years, tells you how special it was. So again, hats off to you, Mike Powell. Congratulations on setting the world record. This guy behind me and myself, I uh, think you did a pretty good job. All right, enjoy your time. And I'll tell you this, you may not think about it and everyone else may not realize it and everyone else may not think it, but I'll tell you, I'm one person that believes that it's not a surprise. It's lasted this long. And I just hope that you and I will be alive to see the person that breaks it. Cheers, Mike. <laughs>